hello guys welcome back to my channel uh, today i have come up with a, a new video and this time i'm gonna show you how to par uh, paraphrase any kinds of article or any kinds of writing or anything you know, using a, a website called quillbot so first uh, we need to know that what is paraphrase or paraphrasing so Paraphrase, it's a verb uh, which expresses the meaning of something written or spoken using different kinds of words, especially to achieve greater cl clarity. It means that whenever we um, copy something from internet um, for our assignments or our educational purpose or our research work, so we have to paraphrase it because if we don't do that it we might be uh, end up with plagiarism and uh, it yeah, and we might get penalty for that so in that case we have to paraphrase our writing uh, which we uh, which we get from the internet so uh, there are few uh, few people who doesn't know how to paraphrase okay so for them, um, nothing to worry about because nowadays there are huge, uh, huge, huge, huge opportunities to use the internet and to uh, paraphrase via using any particular website. So today I'm gonna uh, acknowledge you with this kind of website called Quillbot. It's a website that does uh, paraphrasing. So let's get started without further ado. Without further ado, so first of all, uh, let's go open our browser, internet browser. Then we type on the search bar that quillbot.com. Okay, uh, then uh, it's the interface of Quillbot okay so first of all we need to search for something okay we search for a report on report on <coughs> gdp drivers gdp drivers of bangladesh okay so we redirect to the first link from here uh, suppose we need uh, this part for our uh, research or our assignment work so we copy it and we just paste it here then th there are a uh, plethora of modes here and you can as you can see so first mode is the standard mode so let's see uh, you you can see that it's uh, now paraphrasing so yeah the work has been done as you can see that it's totally a different one from the given ones right because here you copied this one and in here it's a new one okay with uh with a different sentence structure and uh, synonyms okay so let's try another mode fluency uh, yeah you can see that in here uh, it's uh, it's uh, uh, here fluent words that are used uh, in our daily life these are these have been used so in creative okay you can see that uh, the writing has become more creative creative plus is um, em emphasizing on m more creative words i guess and in formal uh, we can see that the formal introduction uh, which we use in our assignment or our in our research work so we can use these modes for the formal writing and shorten is, uh, is shorten means that to short the passage you can see that it's it's been shortened 
and expand means to enlarge right expand means enlarge so yeah you can see that it has been enlarged so yeah by <coughs> by this website you can uh, probably mm, paraphrase any kinds of uh, words any kinds of uh, paragraph any kinds of article so i hope mm, this video may help you in your uh, work so this is for today thank you very much for watching and staying with me if you like this video don't hesitate to give, give a thumbs up and to leave a comment below and besides that press the subscribe button and also the bell button to get any updates of, of my channel thank you